Hey there guys, it's me, Godeful again, and now we are back with the Blueprint Tuesday. The last two episodes uh, weren't there, obviously. Um, the first one was because I was on vacation in Austria and could manage to pre-record one, so that's why there wasn't that one. And the second one was last week where I got busy with a lot of stuff because I got accepted to another university I want to attend. And so I had to organize a lot of stuff and just didn't make it. I had not the time and not the, the, the inspiration to think of something to do. Um, so we missed out on the second one too. And for an, uh, as an damage control, if you want to call it like that, uh, you got the Moby Dick ride. I thought it would be out today, but I uploaded it on the Sunday uh, together with the um, Adventure Planes episode. So um, that's kind of the replacement for both of the um, Blueprint Tuesdays. Moby Dick uh, also did take a lot longer than um, a Blueprint Tuesday would and does. So, what are we doing in this episode? We are building a coaster station. I'm not going to uh, put out a layout for the diving coaster. It's really just the station. So if you put the, uh, this one down in your park, you have already the station and the coaster, but you have to come up with a um, layout for yourself. I really like the idea, so why not do it? And it will be a Nordic blockhouse thingy. Um, so a lot of wood, a stone brick um, foundation is going on there. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm not 100% sold on this one, but I knew from the be beginning that the uh, Blueprint Tuesday would lead to some uh, random faily uh, blueprints because of the one hour restriction I put on myself. And I guess that's part of the format and I don't really mind. It's still good enough to place it in your park, it's just not that amazing. I really like, for example, the Nepal uh, Ferris wheel. And this one, compared to the Ferris wheel, feels a little meh. Um, but it's okay. Um, I, I, had, I really struggled with the uh, custom roof. And also, these custom walls I'm building right now uh, put a lot of pressure on me time-wise because they are so time-consuming. I have to put down every single of those uh, logs there, uh, of those poles I mean, and then I have to turn them all around and it all takes time. Um, you feel you, you feel you, you really feel that um, while building with this uh, timer ticking down next to you. But that is also something I realized with this series. It teaches me to build more efficient. Um, because I have this time restriction on myself, I, I play a race against time itself, basically. So I have to find ways to make those things that I want to do um, the best and most efficient, fastest way I can find. And that's really something very positive I can take away from the series, even if the buildings uh, are sometimes not as good as I want them to be. Um, so I will just learn from that. And um, yeah, here we are putting down a little bit of bean work inside of the uh, station. Um, nothing too special. In the end I think the ceiling turned out a bit too low of the f for the station, but it's still manageable. It's not like big people would bump their heads. It just doesn't feel like... It, it doesn't give you this feeling of, the, of a hall you have in most coaster stations. It's more like a room you would find in a flat or something like that. Um, now it doesn't seem like that, but, but uh, we will have a flat roof beneath the, um, the sloped roof. So that will push down the ceiling a lot. Here we put in a little bit of detail with the wood beams. So it just looks nicer. Um, nothing too special. Now I try a little bit of rope work. Um, turns out okay. I find it quite hard still to work with those ropes and not to have a repetitive pattern while using them. That's that's kind of hard. Um, I wish we had more ropes, but eh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm not quite sure if I'm not that uh, experienced with them. I, I worked a little bit in other parks and projects with them. But it's not like that I have used them extensively, like the wooden beams. I feel like uh, with those wooden beams you basically see in every building that I am building. 
Um, I, I've gotten quite good. There's still stuff I can learn, to be honest, but um, I'm happy with it. And here you can see me build the custom roof. I choose those bigger cornice pieces um, because it goes faster, obviously, and um, it doesn't kill your frame rate as much. But I think this was a mistake because in the end you will see one of the main reasons why I think this build is more manicore than good uh, is the fact that um, on the lower side of the flatter slope the downside of the cornice is, is peeking out of the sides of the, co uh, of the coastal station. So um, that's something I didn't think of it before and then I didn't have time uh, to change it. Actually, this build I placed the last tree that will come in the end at, ex at the exact second where the timer stopped me from building. So everything time-wise worked out perfectly. Design-wise, eh, it's okay. I, I did learn something about custom roof building though because I rarely did that with those corner pieces. I on, uh, only did it with those wood planks I use right now, which works too, but not always, and not as the only custom roof in your park. So um, I'm happy to take my knowledge I gained here to Adventure Planes and probably other projects in the future and use it there. Um, so again, something I can take away from the Blueprint Tuesday. Maybe this will turn out in some kind of me learning new stuff for myself in this game series that doesn't make any sense. Here we just close one side of the um, of the roof. And this is actually one place where I realized I um, wasted a lot of pieces on the blueprint. It doesn't really matter because already I told you I was uh, finished on point with this. But um, I copy around the roof on, uh, on, the, w on the, the station and um, Did I blueprint it? I think I did. That would be really bad. I'm not quite sure right now if I blueprinted it. Oh, I, I will see uh, after the record. I do hope so. If not, then this is just a random build of me putting together a building in one hour. Oh, please no. Oh god. I, I think I did. Wait, let me check on Steam. Now you will hear mouse clicks. But I have to know that. So, browse the workshop. I think I'm nearly done with the footage though. Okay, so your files. Da, 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 da. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't, and I didn't save the park either. Oh, that's so bad. Oh no. Okay, so I will see if I have an autosave of it. If I do, you will see the link to the blueprint in the description. And if not, this is the most faily episode of Blueprint Tuesday ever. Um, so thanks for watching anyways, and this is the picture of the blueprint if it will be one. Bye bye!